I am Anil Kumar sharing with you the questions on integration where we can apply the formula directly. Now here is an example dealing with trigonometric functions. In most trigonometric functions you have to apply the identities, simplify the function and then it is easier to integrate. So now we will integrate cos 4x cos 7x. Now to do this I hope you remember a formula which is cos a plus b uh, we can write cos a cos b is equals to half cos a minus b plus cos a plus b right so that's the formula which we can apply to change this form into the sum form so once we have the sum form it is kind of easier to solve such questions right so applying the formula we can write the integral as integral of half cos a plus b could be cos 4x plus 7x i should have written minus but it's the same thing you could change the order and cos 4x minus 7x right so this could be written as half of cos 11x plus cos of minus 3x. Now cos of minus 3x is same as cos of 3x so we could change it to cos of 3x. Half can be taken out so we can write this as half integral of cos 11x plus cos 3x right well dx correct. Uh, here we know cos of minus theta, I mean cos of theta and cos of minus theta same, right? So now we can find the integral of these. So we have half integral of cos of 11x will be sin 11x divided by 11 plus that of 3x will be sin 3x divided by 3, right? Plus c. So we can now write the answer as half sine 11x over 11, which is, okay, plus sine 3x over 2 times 3 is 6 plus c. Or finally, we can write this as sine 11x divided by 22 plus sine 3x divided by 6 plus c right so that is how we can do integration of product of cosine functions now whenever you have product of cosine functions you could use this formula to convert product to sum and difference right so that is the formula which is to be applied i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best